All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Blue Lock episode 14. In the last episode, uh, Isagi, Bachida, and Nagi fucked around and found out what it's like to go up against the best, the best. Um, they were, well, they did, they had a good try, but the other three just obliterated them. Um, and then we lost Bachida to the other side. On the one hand, uh, I was very sad about this because, um, of course, they're like a, a a dream duo. They kind of work off each other. It's a great team. But uh, a couple of you did uh, kind of mention that this would be good training for Isagi because up until now, um, I think all of Isagi's goals, or most of them anyway, were because of Bachida in some way. So, yeah, if, I think he needs this training and he does need to catch up to Bachida, um, like he said. But yeah, uh, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. The geniuses and the average Joes. I wonder how Chigiri and uh, Rensuke and whatnot are going to lose their free on freeze. Yeah, unless you go up against 4, 5 and 6. No, I, I see the frustration. I know what he means. But these games aren't won without Yui Sagi. Even if you feel like you're not con contributing as much as the others. Damn. Oh, Jesus, Nagi. Yeah, don't win, pal, bro. It's life or death here. Yeah, just picking him up by his hair. Yeah, he's got a point there, I suppose. Ooh! Jeez, Nagi. Hey, you need to say that. I got normal anime characters get, like, growth and the need to level up every so often. It's every, like, two episodes with this guy. Like, he just keeps hitting barrier and barrier and barrier. He needs to get keep getting better. Oh, shit. You've pr really got to show your shit and not rely on team play this time. Let's go. Yes, that's what we like to see. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I believe that your team sucked, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Is Barrow gonna be on their team, or...? I forget how the rules for this work. I would not go against Barrow. I ain't gonna lie. Not only do I not want to see Barrow get lost, although then I guess they take him on their team, I think? I, the rules confuse me. Oh, this guy made it, okay. And then they took the other player and not Barrow? Oh, okay. I really don't want, to want them to go up against Barrow. I ain't gonna lie. Or maybe if they do and choose Barrow to be on the team, again, the rules. But then they'd have to get kick someone out that they know or that Isagi knows, which sucks. It's almost like a jail. So is the next one going to be a 2-on-2 two -two then, I guess? And then if they win, they could take Barrow if they fought him. And the other guy would go home, unfortunately. <laughs> is he just going to go to sleep? Jeez. Bro sleeps quick. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's stressing out. Oh, he's not used to the loser food. <laughs> Literally anybody here that doesn't have colourful hair, we'll take them on. True, yes, we do need someone who would uh, benefit the team. 
I really wonder who they're going to take on. Obviously, it'd be someone that we know, but like, who? Like, we got two problems here. How to win one-on-one -on -one and who to go against. He's really thinking about going against Baro? Oh, he's suggesting to go up against him. Oh, shit. Former teammate. Ooh, damn. Blunt as hell. Damn. I understand completely what he's saying, but that's big talk coming from number 38 compared to number 15. Well, if it has to be someone from Team Z, then let it be him, I guess. Oh, shit. Barrow and Co. it is. Attempt number 50. Oh, my God. What rank was Barrow? I didn't even get to look at his um, armband, actually. Oh, Barrow's 18? How is he not higher than Isagi? Yeah, called him king. That's gonna suck, bro. Because it's gonna end for you. Oh, shit. Here we go. Did you practice kneeling? The shit talk is real. This is gonna be crazy. This, this real one on one? Wild. Bro, I love the shit talk. You're still thinking too much, bro. Nah, he's obviously improved, bro. You can't just expect for it to still be 27. Remember, it's not about teamwork, it's one-on-one. -on -one. To wherever the space is. And he'll make it work. Yeah, Nagi. Okay, spill the beans. Oh, let's go, Nagi. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is Barrow gonna get this? Oh, he's so clean. Let's fucking go. Though so Nagi's figured out Barrow. And then we need to figure out the other guy. Yeah, oh, Barrow, you need to learn to play as a team a little bit. Oh. Black hole takedown. Anime is fuck. This still seems like he's relying on another player a lot, though. Like, what are you going to bring to this, Isagi? Yeah. Oh, he is pissed. Oh, no. They let it happen again. Good shot, Blue Lock, man. Oh, bro, the episode of Bowser will end? No. What did you think? Yeah? And what you can and can't do. He's got a point. Damn, the shit talk is real. He's just trying to piss him off now, so he makes mistakes. We're both just average Joes. Oh, come on, Isagi, do something. And back to me? Nah, are you joking? He's so close to the goal. Damn, bro. Right, so that was Blue Lock episode 14. Isagi is getting a lot of realization here from all around. 
not including not just including himself, part Nagi, and um, bro whose name who I have can't remember because he's kind of a background character, but still. Uh, he's chatting shit, and for good reason. It's true. Isagi has relied on other players a lot um, in these games, so he needs to find his own... Obviously, he has his weapon, but it's his own way to utilize it alone. You know, it's it's a team sport, but in Blue Lock and in these games, he needs to be able to score goals by himself. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the next episode goes. Obviously, it, the our team's going to win. <laughs> Otherwise, again, Blue Lock over. Show's over. Because they're not going to pick Isagi. Uh, and I'm not ready to see Nagi go either. That would be crazy. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll get Barrow on our team. Which is cool. Uh, hopefully he, he should get some development as well. I mean, he has a little bit of teamwork. Like we saw at the end there. But yeah, I think he needs some improvement too. Obviously, the point of Blue Lock is being the biggest ego. But yeah, you can't win it if you're not you know playing as a team sometimes, I suppose. Yeah, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.